Over the last 100 years, family structure has changed drastically. Men worked and provided for the family while the mother stayed home and cared for the children. Now, most families are dual income. There can be many positive and negative effects to both parents and children in a dual income family. Having a dual income family can have many effects on a child. The child will most likely grow up having more respect for women, though we more independent than a child who grew up depending on a parent. If the child is a female, it will definitely have a positive impact on her and her self-confidence. There can be negative effects as well as positive ones. Children growing up in both parents working can cause behavioral issues and less self-discipline. Whether or not the child experiences the negative or positive effects depends on the child and the environment they grew up in. The effects on the parents in a dual income family can be far more negative than the effects on the child. If one parent works longer hours or gets paid more, the other parent may use it against them, rather than finding the silver lining. It is also hard to divide basic at-home and parenting tasks evenly. This can be tough, especially on the person who works fewer hours because they will more than likely have to pick up the slack for the other person. While there are a lot of negative effects, money is a positive one. Dual income households usually make over $100,000 a year rather than around the $55,000 in a single income household. They live more comfortable than a household with only one working parent. There's an extensive list of pros when it comes to dual income families. As discussed before, yearly income is obviously a pro. Making more money will mean it will be easier to pay for college or private school if that's the path you choose. You'll be able to own your own home and you're less likely to have arguments more than half American families have every day. Another pro is you will have a more active social life because of the relationships developed at work. Another great pro is that studies have shown that you're less likely to divorce if both parents are working. While there are some pros, there are some cons. With both parents working, there's less time for family. When parents get home, there are things to do such as cook dinner, chores, and showers. Afterwards, there's only about one to two hours left to spend together as a family. Most activities will have to be done on the weekend, and if you have an older child, they may want to go out with friends or significant others. Another con is bringing home work-related stress. It is unavoidable sometimes, but it is important to separate work and home. Emotions can be unpredictable, especially if that emotion is anger. Emotions aren't something that can be switched on and off. Usually your spouse or children will be on the receiving end of your anger, and this causes everyone to be irritable, which does not make for a good day. While making more money is a pro, it can also be a con. Making more money means you'll have to pay higher taxes, especially if you're married. If you're alone and you make 50000 a year, then your taxes will be less, but you and your spouse income combined will be.